Hi, I'm Dave, and today I'm going to be reviewing the VTO4 Visual Infrared Thermometer by Fluke. These are a handy piece of equipment to have around the lab. You can take an image of the thermal picture of anything you pointed at. Portable, rugged, all around, nice to use. Let's get into it and see what it looks like. All right, so once we take it out of its retail packaging, we see there's this nice case that's got custom foam that fits all the parts. You've got the user manual, kickstart guide, and software, the thermometer, nice, and a SD card with adapter, charging cable, and let's get it to run. Now immediately you might be noticing, if you can hear it, a high-pitched squeal, which is no fun. Um, I'm not sure what that's about. Also, it's got a rattle. That's not the, that's something in the handle. I don't know what that's all about. Maybe Fluke needs to spend a little more time developing it. But we have a thermal camera that can take images of the temperature in the area. Also notice that it can blend. Blending is where it takes a visual and so we've got the visual picture here and I can blend in different percentages of thermal imaging which is a handy handy tool. Alright, let's take a look at what it looks like with a board. Okay, so here we have an Arduino Due running sample code on USB power. So let's see which parts are getting warm. The thermal camera here, it's at a specific level of blending so you can see not only the heat, that's that red and yellow dot on a couple of the parts, but also the board. So if I turn just to visual, you can see the board with no heat, and then I continue all thermal imaging. So there's the Atmel chip there that's getting hot, and a couple other chips that are running a little warm. And then I blend the image so I can see, yes indeed, that is the Atmel chip, and this is the voltage regulator, and this is, uh, I don't know what chip that is, but that's another chip on the board. Anyways, great little tool for figuring out what's hot on the board, but you'll notice that these are kind of blobs. You can't see exact pixels, and I talk about this in my article, but you're never sure what area on this board is it's exactly measuring. Can I measure down to this small of a dot? I don't know. They don't specify it. So, great for figuring out general case temperatures. Maybe not so great for precision thermal points. And that's the camera. It's a nice piece of kit. I'm glad that I had an opportunity to review it. And I encourage you to look at the rest of my article to see how I can use this for electronics development.